This is a very short excerpt from a blog by um, a poet I really like. Her name is Jennifer Michael Hecht, posted at Best American Poetry Talks. It's entitled Poetic Atheism, A Different Faith and the Meaning of Life. And very briefly, this is the excerpt. There are two main models for thinking about the meaning of life. The first is that it has no meaning. The second is that there is a hidden world that provides the meaning. I've been giving a lot of thought to what I think of as poetic atheism, by which I mean a third way, where we believe there is no hidden world that provides the meaning, but there is meaning anyway. My thesis is that the feelings we have that suggest meaning are sufficient to the definition of meaning. It's a romantic claim, by which I mean it is a very active rhetorical device, but it seems to me that what we think of as the actual situation atomized meaningless animals on a dirt ball is also a very active rhetorical device and, and one that is neither normal nor encouraging. Normally, in most cultures through history, everywhere. Human beings notice interdependence a lot more than we do. The feeling of living in a web of meaning is so intense that even the most sober descriptions of reality show human company as the asset that is our excellent true answer to cosmic meaninglessness. Think of how safe the child feels with a parent sitting on the bed as compared to all alone in the darkness. If we invent a third-party invisible friend, we have to work to believe and then commune. If we notice the, uh, that we are all here in front of one another, actual visual, visual friends, then we can commune. We still need faith to believe that we can help each other and are willing to do so. You still need faith to believe life is worth the trouble and humanity is basically good. A lot of faith. But at least the people you are talking about actually exist. Right?